Hello, all my crochet friends. I've got some new planner covers for my crochet planner. They are 274 pages and they're eight and a half by 11 inches big. You can record your yearly, monthly, and weekly goals, pattern ideas, and more. Stay tuned to the end of this video and you can see the inside of my planners. So these are the pride planners that I put on the website for the month of June since it is Pride Month, and I thought that would be a nice addition to the collection. I have also added a couple of mermaid styles. Those are really, really unique and mysterious looking. I also have some cute pom-poms and mushrooms with a butterfly sitting on it. And then I have some whimsical designs with a little girl in her pajamas and an elephant. And then a lot of you have seen the little girls sitting on the couch crocheting. Some of them have cats sitting next to them. Some of them do not. And there's all different hair colors and skin tones. Then I've got these cute little whimsical girls with pigtails. I have uh, some photographs that you might be interested in of some nature photos. And then I also have some abstract and some more neutral designs that other people might like. So let's take a look inside. I wanted to take a walk through my new crochet project planner. Now there are different covers that you can choose from, but this is the one that I chose because it's the one that looks mostly like me. This planner is 274 pages. It's nice and thick. It's like a big workbook. And it says crochet the day away on the back. I just think she's so cute. And the other covers I'll let you take a look at in just a minute, but let's just take a little walk through here. It's a great day to crochet. So in the beginning of this um, planner, you'll see your yearly goals. So you can write the, the year, and then you write your projects to complete, your stitches to learn, patterns to write, and other yearly goals that you may have. After that, you will have all of your monthly goals. Now this is like a year planner. I mean, you, you could take longer than a year to fill it out, but it has 12 months. And then it also includes weekly goals. So you'll find 52 weekly goal sheets for that. And I'm going to um, put some tabs on here so I can separate the sections easily, and you might wanna do that too. And the next section is your project ideas. So whatever ideas that you have, thoughts of projects that you want to start, just jot them down here and then you can keep them all in one place. The next section is pattern ideas. Now I like this because I also included a little graph sheet next to the pattern ideas so that you can draw out what your vision is along with the stitches and pattern measurements and things of that nature next to it. So everything is right next to each other and you can put the title right here. So now the projects in progress page, I thought was kind of a neat idea that I had. Um, you're going to color in each ball as you complete your project. So when you're halfway through, you'll color in up to here. So, you know, when you're just starting, it'll be here. You just color in this one. So you can easily just glance down and you'll have your name of your pattern and the date started. And you can just glance down and see how, how far along each one is and you can know which one you want to start working on next. Then I have a section for yarn and supplies needed for your project. So you'll write your project name here and then all the yarn needed and other supplies needed for it. So you can keep track of everything and make sure that you have all the supplies before you get started. So there's quite a few of those pages. Then I have yarn inventory. There's a lot of pages of that because who doesn't have a lot of yarn if you're a crocheter, right? So there's a lot of those and you know you're going to be taking a list of your yarn throughout the year and then i also have hook inventory you know sometimes we just keep buying the same size hook over and over do we do we really need eight size five hooks no we don't so let's keep track of it and then a lot of times the size will wear off on some of them too so we can also help keep track of that in here as well and then here is a list of um, your crochet wish list and crochet books that you have or crochet books that you would like. There's a notes section, which there's a lot of room for notes. And then this is your password section and it's for like Ravelry, Lion Brand, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, and other Etsy, Hirschner's, Joann's, just so you can keep everything all in one spot. 
And then here is a page with all the different stitch abbreviations for crochet. And your hook needle sizes and letters and your yarn weight chart. So there's a lot of different reference sheets here. So I hope you enjoyed this planner and I will let you take a look at the other covers right here. The first thing you wanna do is go to crojocorner.com. On the front page, you will see the crochet planners. And when you scroll down, you will find all the different covers that I have available. Please keep in mind that the inside of each planner is the same, no matter what cover you choose. Once you see a cover that you like, simply click on it and it will take you directly to Amazon. And from there, you can make your purchase. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this planner, please check out crojocorner.com. And there you will be able to order whichever cover you like. And make sure you keep checking back because I'm going to be adding new covers all the time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.